Hello guys and welcome back to AMH Tech SL. In this video, I will be showing you how you can schedule windows to delete your files automatically. So if you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to press the subscribe button and please do press the bell icon to receive notifications on the new videos I post. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. You will need a little command to schedule deletion on your Windows PC. And the command is on your screen right now. This command has to be modified before you can use it. So the first thing that you want to modify is this part here. That's the path to the folder where the files are going to be deleted. So let's replace this with the path to the folder that you want to delete files from. So in my case, I want to automatically delete the files which appear in my downloads folder. So for that, let me create a new folder. So let me name it as dtemp, right? To get the location of the folder, first click the folder and then right click the folder next click on copy as path if you are a windows 10 user press shift on your keyboard and right click the folder and then click on copy as path next let's head over to our notepad file and enter the path so let's remove the path which is with the inverted commas and now let's paste our path Alright, we've just pasted our path. And the second thing that you need to modify is this minus 30 value here. Right now this value tells the command to delete files that are older than 30 days. If 30 isn't suitable for you, you can replace this with however number of days that suits your need. It could be 10 days or it could be 20 days. You can use any amount of days within this command. So I will be entering 10. Since I want these files to delete within 10 days. You can test this command by running it in command prompt. So when you right click you can enter the command in the command prompt and when you press enter the command runs so you receive an error that no files found with the specified search criteria so what does this command search for this command search for files which have been modified in the past 10 days so let's open the dtemp folder and you can see that it is empty so if you have files that are older than 10 days then it surely will get deleted without an error. So why can't we always use the command by entering it in command prompt and running it? Well, you know that it is not automation. It's you manually entering the command. To automate this command, you have to open another application which is built in the system that is known as task scheduler. To open it, let's click on the start menu and type in task schedule so we have received it so let's open it all right our task scheduler has been initialized successfully so you will have to navigate to the actions panel and then click on create task all right so let's give our task a name so I will name it as dtemp. So you have to give it a name so that you can find it later on. If you are fed up of windows deleting your files on a scheduled time. Let's click on triggers, click on new and then set it to daily so that our code runs daily. And next click on ok, click on the actions tab then click on new so the action is start a program the program or script is 
you will have to type in for files All right and then the arguments you will have to set is you have to exclude for files and then copy from backslash p till the end of this command and paste it in the arguments field next click on ok so for the final part of this scheduling go to settings and then you will have to tick allow task to be run on demand and then click the checkbox run task as soon as possible after a schedule start is missed so next click on ok and we have successfully created the task to delete our files on a schedule period of time so this schedule task would run every day and it will execute the command that you gave it as the command it will delete files that are older than the number of days that you specified in the command that you entered and one important thing that you should know is that when it checks the age of file it looks at the date that the file was last modified if you open the file it's not going to make any difference the command is still going to look at the last modified date so if the file was never modified it's still as old as its original modified date thank you for watching my videos and please like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends and family